Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good one. It's eight something. It's almost nine o'clock, I think. And I am like in desperate need to go to the gym. So here we are going to the gym. My goal is to get to the point where I can get up at like four and be at the gym at like five and then come home before the kids are up. But I've tried for months in a row and I've not been able to get up at five o'clock voluntarily. But we're working on it and I know I'm gonna get there soon very very soon probably tomorrow today we're just gonna have a cute little productive day as realistic as it can get when we got the kiddos at home right now i have the luxury of leaving the house and going to an actual gym but i forgot one thing that is like a little bit frightening to me the mask mandate just dropped like a week ago I've been to the gym once since it's dropped there are just people's butthole meaning their mouth is just out and it's like freaking me out a little bit because i don't know about everybody else but since uh pandemic has happened i've been like really good about wearing my mask wash my hands using hands like constantly before the mask mandate dropped you know there of course there was people who had their masks down here and there but now it's like everybody, as soon as the mandate drops, everybody is not wearing their mask anymore. And it's so confusing to me because like, how are you guys all comfortable just looking at each other's faces? Whereas we haven't been looking at each other's faces for what, like two years now? I don't know. Because the gym is a gross place. I've worked at a gym before and the gym is nasty. Anyways, I didn't even say hi again. Hi, my name is Jenny. If you're new to my channel, and if you're not, thanks for coming back. Alright, thanks. See you guys in a minute. there was this guy my camera's about to die oh I'll tell you the story when I get back or can I say it real quick one time there was this guy mm. that's what that said it's a better made you know why I say better made because it's better made only in Detroit a box a box open it Open, open. Mm. Hold on, you got the, you got the. Sweet barbecue. You got my mom's favorites, you feel me? Cheers. He's been talking about these chips for Sweet. years. And we've only had it once while we were in Michigan. I'm pretty sure they're only made in Michigan. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? video i was busy yesterday with the same thing the entire day entire night i almost turned the video into a self-care video i was trying to figure out i had some issues the file size from the video i don't know if you care the file size from the video turned out to be 200 something gigabytes which would literally take an entire week to upload to youtube I had to ask somebody, her name is Simone, and she helped me out. She helped me figure out what settings I needed to do to turn the file size down. And then, but anyways, point is, 
after I did that, there were still some problems. It took me all night, and then uh, here we are. So today, I want to start my day off going to the gym again because, you know, we're on a roll. And it made me feel really, really good. So we got to keep that going. But I don't think I'm going to film for this vlog what I'm going to do in there today, but I think I am going to film a reel. So if you want to see what my reels look like, you can follow me on Instagram. Oh, let me just finish the story. What I was trying to say yesterday. Once upon a, has a moment passed. If you guys want to know, let me know in the guys it is nine o'clock and i've been sitting in my bed for two hours trying to convince myself to get up and clean up so tomorrow i'll have a good day because if i don't do those things right now i'm literally standing here in the middle of my room my goal is to get some things done so I can feel stress-free ish all right I'm having technical difficulties podcast I am listening to is manifest daily Hold on. My mom came over today and she brought over a freaking guava. If you know, you know. What is the most exotic fruit you've ever tried? Hmm? This isn't really exotic to me, only because I grew up in Taiwan, but it's the fact that I live in Washington state. Guavas are $10 per pound out here, whereas in Taiwan, they're like a dollar. Yeah. What's the most exotic fruit you've either eaten growing up or you've ever tried? I want to know. Dude, this shit is so thick. Why? I think this is the best I can do right now. 
I already dirtied the sink up. You see that? Guess what I get to do? I get to fold all this laundry because I procrastinate. Many hours later.